Hi there, this is Lauren Lori. Soup. Can you say hi? Soup, that's right. We're gonna make a beef veggie soup today. This actually is one of my all time favorite soups. However, when I started keto, I wasn't making it anymore because it wasn't keto friendly. So today we are making and creating a soup. keto version soup. of our favorite soup, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is our favorite soup, right? Yeah, so tell them out there. No, say yummy. Mm. <laughs> you silly girl. Mm. So, um, and also too, sorry that we haven't been doing our videos weekly. Um, a month ago, we had a new arrival in our house, so things have been a little hectic. Um, but we hope that um, you're enjoying the recipes as we're catching up. So let's look and see what ingredients we need. Uh, First, you need about four cups of cabbage. Cabbage. That's celery, okay. about four stalks of celery, about two or three carrots, yes. and I cut back on the carrots because they aren't as keto friendly. You can eat a few, but if you eat too many, it's not good. Um, yes. Two tablespoons of virgin olive oil, or you could use coconut oil. oil. And then we're going to use some uh, 28 yes. ounce can of organic diced tomatoes, a couple of cups of beef broth. You want to hold this up for mommy? Yeah. No, just hold it up. Italian seasoning, mm -hmm. some parsley seasoning, some Himalayan salt, what? and what is this? Say it loud. Pepper. Pepper, and then a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. And then for the meat, we have one and a half pounds of chuck roast in here cut into small pieces, and a large onion. Now, um, you are supposed to be able to use the beef stew meat, but what I do is I buy, when chuck roast goes on sale, I buy a large chuck roast, like a three pounder plus, and then I cut it in half, and then I immediately cut it into smaller pieces, and I freeze it. Mm -hmm. So when I'm ready to do the soup, I just grab one of the bags out, let it thaw, and away we go, all chopped up and ready. So, young lady, are you going to listen to instructions? Huh? Yes. You are? Are you ready to cook? Then can you tell them, let's cook? Cook. Let's cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to put everything in a bowl. So here we go, let's put the beef that we just cooked. Now we didn't cook it all the way, we just browned it in those two tablespoons of olive oil and a large onion. Okay, we're gonna stick it in there. Now we're gonna put our cabbage in there. And after you're done with the cabbage, we're gonna put the celery, babe, okay? And while she's doing that, good job. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of parsley in. Go ahead. And I'm going to put two teaspoons oh, of Italian oh, seasoning in. Huh? Oh, oh. No, you're done with this one. Now now do the second, okay? Yeah, yeah. Good job. Then we have carrots. Good job. Now let me get the tomatoes open. I'm going to put them in there. Okay. Whoop. Then we got this, the tomatoes. My hand. What do you got on your hand? Soup. Soup? No, that's tomatoes. Hey, tomatoes. Yes. Here, you want to mix that up just a little bit? Yes. Be careful mixing it up. It's heavy. We're going to put in 32 ounce or almost the whole thing. We'll see how much it fits in our pan. This is our broth of the beef broth. Then we're gonna put our tomato paste. Whenever I use tomato paste, I never use the whole can. So what I do is then I freeze it. And then when I need more tomato paste, I just take it out of the freezer and get how much I want out of it. So it makes it convenient and easy. Oh, here, here, here we go. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. 
Nope, no more. No more of that one. Let's stir it up first, okay? And I think that should do it for the tomato paste. That's going to make it thicker. That's our substitute from the regular recipe. Two pigs, two, uh, two, uh, two. You like the soup? Yeah. Yeah? We're going to put a pinch of Himalayan salt in. Just a pinch. Okay? okay. Go like this. Yep, you got some. You got some. Go like this. Rub it. Hey, go like this. There you go. You don't want to put in too much, otherwise it'll be too salty. Then we're going to put some pepper in. Say pepper. Me. You. My hand. There. Put it in. Okay. Now let mommy finish it. Because this part here, you stirred this up very good. I am so impressed with you. Now, if you have a slow cooker, that would be the best. Or if you have one of these, West Bend, uh, five quart. Me. I forget the name of them, to be honest with you. But I love them better than a slow cooker because it cooks sort of like, hun, just hold a second, okay? It cooks just like a, um, a stove. And if you don't have either of them, you could put it in a five quart Dutch oven pan and put it on your stove. Um, but you um, would have um, to be um, at um, home um. and watch it very carefully. The reason why I like this is because, and here we go, we can put it all in here after it's all mixed up. And notice I did not mix it up in the actual pan we're cooking it in because it would have been too hard. And this is a thick soup. It's almost like a stew. And that's why we like it, especially when we're having snow and sleet in April. Which, well, we all know, just is not nice. So, we get it all in here like this. And as you can see, the cabbage will make a, the cabbage will make a little bit of juice. Um, if you find that it's still like this later on, when you come back and take a peek, what you can do is you can always add more of that broth. But basically, I've used about 28 ounces. There's only about this much of the broth in here left. Now, let me get the base. Okay, so we've got the base here. We're going to put it on the base. And down here, I'm going to put it at like three. And in six to eight hours, this soup is going to be ready for us to eat. Can you turn around? And our taste tester will test it. And she will let you know whether or not I did a good job in converting it into bye a pizza bye. recipe. So say, come back in a bit. A bit. In a bit. Oh. Hi there. Welcome back to Laura and Laura's Cooking. And as you can see, my daughter already decided to try the soup. Remember, we're going to cook it on slow for six to eight hours. This is what it looks like now. After it's been cooked. And we actually cooked it overnight. So now she's just taste testing it. And that's your fourth spoon. Can you look in the camera and tell them if you like it? It's num -num. It's what? Num num. It's num num? Is it num num? Bye bye. <laughs> You're so funny. So is it good? Do you think everybody at home should try to make this soup? Yes. Yes? Okay, well tell them that. Yeah, two, this two. Yes, soup? Make the soups? Yes. Okay. So it looks like she just wants to eat. She doesn't even want to talk. So there you have it. The test taste tester says it's good. So try this uh, beef vegetable keto style soup. Let us know if you like it. And uh, if you want, subscribe. And we will see you next time. Hi, my name is Lori. Yeah. And this is Laura. Yeah. And we have a cooking show called... Lori and Laura mm -hmm. and uh, if you would like to watch our videos if you could subscribe up here and if you like what you see then down here is the links to watch more videos mm -hmm. we hope you like it and uh, are entertained mm -hmm. have a good day